This next video is going to show you how a mother is at a school board meeting and she is calling out this one board member who actually signed a letter that said everyone he represents welcomes illegal immigrants into their community. Watch what happened. Our schools really cannot take on any more students, um, especially students that don't speak English. Our, our teachers, our schools are maxed out. Our teachers are at capacity. I was at my son's baseball game when I listened to what you were saying. And I want to remind everyone why we're here. We're here because of a letter that you signed. We're not here because we're incompassionate or we don't have feelings or we don't care about people. And you know what? All I could think of when you were talking is that you're gaslighting every single one of us. So I'm gonna read a little piece of the letter that you signed. Uh, we continually hear from our constituents that they believe in and support refugee resettlement. From greeting refugee families at the airport to assisting with English language classes or navigating bus lines, our communities stand welcome. I don't remember you asking anybody that's here how they felt about that. And you signed a letter on behalf of your position representing our city. And that is a huge problem for me. If you're going to sign a letter like that and you represent our city, then you need to ask the constituents how they feel about it. And yeah, Fairhope's probably not going to be inundated. But Foley and, and, and Silver Hill and Somerdale, and we've got a lot of communities. And, and, and what she was saying about being in a car accident, in December, I was in a terrible car accident with my two children and my friend's daughter in the car. And I was hit by an illegal immigrant in Baldwin County that did not receive a ticket, that did not go to jail. He had no car insurance. And I called the police department to ask why. Why, if I were to do that without a driver's license or car insurance, I would have been arrested. My car would have been towed. So they tell me that, that they can go to the DMV and they can get tags for their vehicle and they can also get car insurance without a driver's license right here in Baldwin County. My, my son and my daughter and myself were injured in that accident I had to pay for everything out of my own pocket. And so if, if you're inviting people here, then they need to follow our laws too, okay? Because we all follow our laws. We pay our taxes, we pay, you know, we pay for our car insurance, and they need to do the same. So thank you very much. Thank you. That mother was awesome, being able to really hold this board member accountable for signing a letter that says, everyone in my, that I represent are welcoming of illegal immigrants into their community. And as she said, he never asked them for their opinion or anything. And that's always what happens in politics. When you have people that you vote into office, and they're, they say they're going to represent their constituents and, and, and do everything that, you know, people want done for, for their community. They do the complete opposite and they don't even connect with the people that they're representing. They don't even ask the people that they're representing. They don't care because there has to be some type of incentive that this board member is getting or the board members are getting that they're letting illegals come into their school systems the way she was saying how it was happening, that they're maxed out. You know, they just don't have enough space for these kids. They don't even speak English. There's so many more additional resources that they need to get, have, pay for to even bring these illegals in. And the, the board members are not even seeing that they have it. They're, they're lying and saying that the community welcomes this. And that would piss me off if that happened in our community. And I saw, you know, let's say the year before this all started to happen, I saw the quality that my children were getting. And then when the uh, illegals started to come in and their children started to go into our school system without giving any, getting us, get, getting any kind of input from the parents. I mean, that would piss me off too. And this is not just happening there. It's happening everywhere. Good job for this mom for having her thoughts 
laid out in a piece of paper and saying what she says. But here's the thing, what's gonna happen from it? What's gonna come of it? Democrats never get held accountable. And that's the sad part about all this.